Hello and a very warm welcome. I am absolutely shattered, but here we go. Australian Grand Prix done. Controversial or not. A bit of luck for Sebastian Vettel. Sebastian Vettel wins the first race of the season and takes 25 points. I'll probably call this video something like Vettel lucky win. It was lucky. Haas, hero to zero and Alonso, driver of the day. So let's get into it. We'll go through the race and then I'll tell you the positions. Very clean first lap. Very clean. For opening day of the season, you usually see a lot of crashes into turn one, turn two. Opening day, we've seen Ralph Schumacher have a big crash there. But it was very, very clean. Kevin Magnussen, great start. Caught Max napping a bit. Went round the outside of him. Phenomenal start by Kevin Magnussen. And that was the... Bit where Max will have been frustrated, but we'll get on to that. Max spins, turn one, very tail happy the Red Bull. He was behind Kevin Magnussen and he was getting out of shape uh, around turn 11, turn 12, getting really out of shape. I think he did have something wrong with his car. I'm guessing he did because he was tail happy all the time, looked like he was going to lose the car. He did lose the car into turn one, lost three places. And then he got stuck behind Alonso, so very frustrating. I'm a Max fan, but he had a poor race today, very poor. Uh, Sainz locks up, gives Alonso a position, goes through the gravel trap. VSC loses Hamilton the lead, and Vettel jumps him. So basically, Raikkonen and Hamilton had pitted, Vettel stayed out. Then obviously the Hasses broke down, we had Kevin Magnussen pull off wheel gun and then Grosjean pitted same happened to him he pulls off virtual safety car comes out Vettel gets a free pit stop comes in the pits and Hamilton and Raikkonen have to say stay to a set speed a bit like scale electrics and Vettel gets a free stop and jumps Hamilton and then obviously Albert Park terrible to follow terrible to overtake not a great circuit to overtake and Vettel got the win. Uh, Lewis Hamilton was chasing down uh, Sebastian, locks up lap 47, went through the gravel trap again at turn uh, um, 9 this time, went f a bit on the grass and then last five laps he gave up. I'd never like to see that by an F1 driver. This is the world champion giving up with five laps to go. I'm a Hamilton fan as you well know. I was disgusted when I saw it. I want him to push Vettel till lap 58. Gave up on lap 53, saving the engine. Load of bollocks. Wasn't happy with that. So let's get into it. First place, Sebastian Vettel gets a lucky win. I will call it lucky because in the first stint, he was nowhere. He was P3, nowhere. Raikkonen and Lewis pit, and then the virtual safety car comes out and gifts him the win. But he, he, what can you do? He's going to take it, isn't he? I mean, people get luck. Sebastian got lucky today. That's not me um, being like, because I'm a Hamilton fan. He did get lucky today. Lewis was comfortable in the lead and VSC cost him the victory. So Hamilton second. It's not a disaster. Still 18 points in the bag. He should have won the race. He was comfortable, but what can you do? Kimi, solid weekend for him, but again, behind Sebastian Vettel. Great qualifier by Kimi, great pace in the race, but the virtual safety car cost Lewis and Kimi dearly. Ricardo, terrible weekend for the Australian at his home Grand Prix. Grid penalty, hugely frustrating. Qualified fifth, drops back to eighth. He's gone from eighth to fourth. I mean, pretty steady Grand Prix for Daniel Ricardo but finishes fourth in front of his uh, home crowd. Now, the driver of the day, the Spanish two-time champion of the world, Fernando Alonso. And what a great decision it was to ditch Honda and get a Renault engine in the back of the McLaren. OK, he got very lucky with the virtual safety car again, but Fernando Alonso in McLaren-Renault, first um, race as McLaren-Renault power unit, and he finishes fifth ahead of a Red Bull, which is hugely positive for McLaren. And that as a team, they scored 12 points. 
they didn't do that once last year in the Grand Prix weekend. So positivity for McLaren. Max. Uh, I've covered Max. I didn't think he had a good race today. Very tail happy. I'm sure he had damage to his car. Because I don't know why he was sideways all the time. He must have had damage. But not a good race in my opinion. I, I am a huge fan. And I will support him after Hamilton departs. But today was a bad day in the office. Hulkenberg 7th. Uh, solid job. Valtteri Bottas 8th. Again, not a great weekend for Bottas. Uh, smashed it in the wall in qualifying. And the race only made up 5 places. He's gone from 15th to 8th. But he's up, he, the Haas is dropped out. So there's 2 he's not had to pass. So he's literally only passed 5 cars in the race. So, yeah, terrible weekend for the finishman. Van Dorn, very solid in ninth. Good points for McLaren. Sainz was feeling unwell with the last 10 laps. Apparently had an issue with his water bottle that it was going in all the time and his belly was full of water or something. Very strange. I don't know why he just didn't take it out and go across your rate suit. Rather than filling your mouth up, pull it across your rate suit. You cool down then a bit. Sergio Perez, 11th. Ocon, 12th. Terrible weekend for Force India. No pace whatsoever. 13th on his F1 debut, Charles Leclerc. Fantastic debut by the Frenchman. Beating a Williams. So that is a great debut for Charles Leclerc. Uh, Lance Stroll, 14th. And Brendan Hartley, 15th. We get on to the DNFs now. Sergei Sorokin had brake trouble. Terrible weekend for him. Marcus Ericsson, power steering issue. Pia Gasly, smoke coming out the back of his car. Honda engine blowing up. We've seen a lot of that over the in recent years. And on to Haas. Hero to zero. Fantastic weekend for Haas. Qualifying, they were superb. The race, they were superb. And the team made rookie errors. You practice pit stops a hundred hundreds thousands of times on a race weekend in testing and Haas pit crew have cost the team dearly it's not the driver's fault the drivers were on for fifth and sixth Ricardo would have got them and finished fourth that's not up for debate but fifth and sixth was guaranteed for Haas they were driving superb and the team have let them down with rookie mistakes that's 18 points down the drain for Haas and that's crucial for a team like Haas. Overall, driver of the day, Fernando Alonso, without a shadow of a doubt. Not even up for debate. Uh, unforgivable that Haas were guaranteed 5th and 6th. And they both retire due to pit crew mistakes. But you win as a team, you lose as a team. And the over I'm going to start doing a rating for the race out of 10. I will give the Australian Grand Prix a 4. I didn't think it was a great race, not much overtaking, as usual round Albert Park, Melbourne. And yeah, not. it wasn't a bad race, but it's not a worldie. Like Baku last year, you would have given it 10 out of 10, that had everything. But for me, I give it a solid 4 out of 10 for the race. We should see more overtaking in Bahrain and China coming up in a couple of weeks. So yeah, Australian Grand Prix done. Sebastian Vettel, the German, wins the opening round of the season. Very lucky, virtual sar, virtual sar, virtual safety car helped him massively to win the race. But he took it and gets the championship lead. And then Hamilton second, Kimi third. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of the race. What would you give the race out of ten? I would give it a solid four. Fernando Alonso, absolutely superb. And Haas go from hero to zero. Unbelievable. I felt really, really sorry for Haas F1 team. Thanks for watching. Adios. I'll see you next time.